Every team has their rivalry and UNLV and CSN is no exception. Reporting for Game On, I'm Alex Bull. Thanks guys, it's final stay here at the Mountain West Championships track and field. UNLV have high hopes in the 100 meters with Emily Block and the 400 meters with Kelsey Williams. Earlier today, the women's 4x100 meters finished second. As the day progresses, I'll keep you updated. Now let's send it back to the desk. This weekend, the American for Prosperity rewarded early voters with a concert. Special guest, three doors down. For dogs like Sammy here, protection from the sun is essential. Reporting for Studio G, I'm Alex Bull. Yeah guys, that's right, we're here at the local 7-Eleven where gas prices have fallen 40 cents from exactly a year ago today. And hopefully they do keep decreasing. Well, reporting for Studio G, I'm Alex Bull. Well, over 12 hours ago, the Running Rebels had just finished their game against Colorado State. They now face the number one New Mexico Lobos here at the Thomas & Mac. Rave reviews are plenty for first-time flyers at Vegas Indoor Skydiving. This local attraction allows adventure seekers the opportunity to skydive within the friendly confines of a wind tunnel. Head flight instructor Rob Grills explains the whole process. What we do here is we simulate the free fall aspect of skydiving. So what you do pretty much is you get inside of a wind tunnel and you float on a cushion of air. Now the biggest difference between indoor skydiving and real skydiving um, is the amount of surface area that you have to fly over. So there's a 12 foot circumference of wind inside of our tunnel and that's what you need to learn to balance over. In real skydiving everywhere is lift. So when you're falling from a plane, you're not necessarily staying in one direct path down to the ground. You're usually tracking forward or backward ever so slightly. While it may not be as dangerous as actual skydiving, the staff make sure all participants are trained in safety before they take to the pseudo skies. It's been a long season for the UNLV's men's tennis team and it all ends today. Let's look at their season so far on Game On's Rebel Recap. The UNLV men's tennis team enjoyed one of their most successful regular seasons in over a decade. The Rebels finished with a 16-6 record tying the 2005 season and most wins since 1997. They went 4-2 in Mountain West's conference, the second most wins by a Rebel side since 2001, earning themselves the number 3 seed. During their exceptional season, the Rebels went on a 13-game home win streak that was ended on March 31st as they lost 4-3 to number 45 ranked and undefeated conference champions, San Diego State. Welcome back to Studio G Magazine, I'm Alex Bull. As wet and wild opens, that means summer is right around the corner and many people will be heading to the pools. Reporter Maria Landeros shares some tips on how to stay safe in and around the pools this summer. The fighting continues on Capitol Hill after a vote of the House this past Friday passed a bill extending lower interest rates for student loans. A new rivalry is born between the UNLV Rebels and the CSN Coyote men's indoor soccer intramural teams. Reporter Maria Landeros has the story. Thanks guys. Well, whilst we're on the subject of MVP, LeBron James has become the youngest player in NBA history to win four MVPs. The baseball team completed a three-game sweep of the San Diego State Aztecs with a 5-2 victory on Sunday. It is the first time since 2007 that UNLV has swept San Diego State, and it is the first time since 2005 that the Rebels completed this feat in Las Vegas. UNLV returned to face number nine ranked Arizona State on Wednesday. In tennis, the 71st ranked women's team defeated the Air Force Academy 4-3 with senior Elia Boshir clinching the final win. With the victory, the Lady Rebels improved to 16-7 and overall and 6-2 and in conference. The Miami Heat completed their first sweep since the Big Three era as they finished off the Milwaukee Bucks in four games. The Celtics did it the hard way to force a Game 5 by letting a 20-point lead slip before beating the New York Knicks 97-90. Tonight's game see the Chicago Bulls look to eliminate the Brooklyn Nets at 7 p.m. Eastern. Thanks Austin. Bangladeshi authorities have arrested four people, including two factory owners, after at least 340 people died in a building collapse near the capital this week. Many others were trapped under concrete rubble. Nearly 600 remain missing. The collapse Wednesday of an eight-story building which housed garment workers have stirred anger in Bangladesh over lax safety standards in the country's key industry. On March 26, Italy's highest criminal court ordered the case to be reopened. On October 3rd, 2011, Knox was released after serving four years of her 26-year sentence. An interactive museum honoring Swedish legendary band ABBA made its debut in Stockholm Monday. 
The ABBA Museum in Stockholm is officially open for business. It's got, it's got all the costumes and platinum records you would expect, and even offers visitors the chance to sing along to ABBA's greatest hits. We had a career ranking of 466 in the world. What made you change from professional tennis to come play college tennis? Well, it was honestly, it was getting too, exp too expensive. This up and coming fight against Chansey, the guy's 55 and 5? 55 you and 5. You were telling five. me that he has more knockouts than you have fights. Yeah, completely. How does this make you feel when you go into a ring with someone like this? Man, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous. Common misconception, ooh, he's a fighter, he's not scared. The first person to tell you that is the liar.